This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on media compression in Adobe Media Encoder. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video, I'll show you how to crop and reframe video along with creating a short segment to test compression settings. Let's look at this NASA clip. Uh, and let's apply a YouTube setting. So I work with a very vanilla flavor so you can follow along. If you want to take a look at what the settings look like, double click a setting. That opens up the export setting window. Now in the export setting window, there's two sides. There's the video on the left and the settings on the right. And notice that we're back to H.264. As I look at this, this is not a star. This is a wave. Be nice if I had a star here. Well, let's say I want to create a test movie. I want to test the compression. I'm going to drag the playhead and type the letter I to set it in. Drag the playhead until the green star appears and back up and type O to set the out. I could grab the in and drag it. I could grab the out and drag it. But what I've done is I've now set a custom range that I want to compress. Remember that 5 to 15 second movie that we are compressing to test for movement. Well, that's how we set it. Double click the compression setting. Go down to your movie and find something which is moving and in focus that you want to use as your test movie. And compressing a 15 second movie is going to take a fraction of the time as compressing the entire movie. If you want to go back and get rid of the in and the out, change the source range to the entire clip and the in and the out are set to the entire clip. Another thing that we have to do is we need to crop and reframe our movies. This is a 16 by 9 clip, but maybe I need to set it for 4 by 3. Click on the source, not the output. That shows the results. Click on the source. Click the crop so it turns blue and change to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. I can grab the aspect ratio and drag it, but the drag affects all the clips. I can't keyframe this to be left on clip one and right on clip two. What's even nicer is, and this doesn't exist in compressor, is I have a 9 by 16, so I can frame this for vertical video, which I like a lot, because now it's a whole lot more interesting to reframe over here and see the edge of this than to Simply look at the Rorschach's test that looking at the middle of this would be. If you need to reset, go back down to None and make sure that you have zero in all these numbers and then turn off the crop and you're back to where you were. The web doesn't care about frame size. The web doesn't care about frame rate. It'll play whatever you send it. It's extremely flexible. Unlike broadcast cable or digital cinema, where they care a lot. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this presentation, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 299. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.